Hello grade 2. I welcome you to the class of math. Today we will talk about chapter 3 lesson 3.11 repeated edition. Let's look at the objectives. Our objective for today write equations using repeated addition to find the total number of objects in arrays. Let's look at listen and draw. Clayton has four rows of cards. There are three cards in each row. What picture can we use to see how many cards Clayton has? Let us use small rectangles to stand for cards. Now the picture shows four rows of three cards each. Let's count the cards. Let's count. Three, six, nine and twelve. Therefore, Clayton has twelve cards in all. Wasn't that easy children? So Clayton has 4 rows of cards, 3 cards in each row and the answer is 12 cards in all. Let's look at share and show. I'd like you to open page number 224. The instruction here is find the number of shapes in each row Complete the addition sentence to find the total. So clearly as you can see in the first sum you have 3 rows of, let's count these. How many are there children? Very good, there are 5. So 3 rows of 5 which means five, you will do skip counting by 5, 5, 10 and then the answer will be 15. 5 plus 5 plus 5 is 15. Wasn't that easy? Very good. Let's look at the second one. 4 rows of. How many green boxes do you see? 1, 2, 3, 4. So 4 rows of 4. Excellent. So 4 plus 4 plus another 4 and yet another 4. So how much will be 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4? It will be 16. Bravo! Very good! Now I'd like you to open page number 225 and complete number 4, 5, 6 and 7 on your own. When you come to class tomorrow, this will be checked. Now let's look at the problem solving application on page number 226. It's a think smarter question number 9. There are 6 photos on the wall. There are 2 photos in each row. How many rows of photos are there? In such cases children always make a mind map. In fact you can use a little corner of this paper to do your rough work. And now think that there are two photos in each row and there are six photos on the wall. So you will put two on the top row, two in the middle row, it will be four and two in the last row and now it will be six. Right? So how many rows did we use? We used three rows. Very good children. And finally, let's look at the plenary. How can you write an addition sentence for problems with equal groups? You count the number of items in a row and the number of rows. You write an addition sentence by repeating the number of items in a row the same number of times as there are rows. Wasn't that a very easy lesson children? I hope you enjoy it. Take care and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.